Go away airplane, go away, go away. Have you seen this new video about um, a new method of replacing an backing glass uh, for a new or a modern uh, smartphone. As you may know, they are made out of glass or temperated glass. Some are calling it magic crystal or something. And um, it is quite a pity when this thing falls in a bad angle, it will shatter and it is quite hard to get this thing off. Um, you really have to scrape it off and you will probably scratch the sides. It costs around 500 bucks to get this thing replaced. Um, so <laughs> sense enough for um, Chinese manufacturers to came up with a new solution and they built a laser device, a machine where you put in your phone, uh, it is a fiber laser um, and you don't even have to uh, align it, you just put it in and it has some sort of a camera on top of it that will scan the phone, the position of the phone, and it will adjust the raster and the mask um, to the uh, to to well to the position, and then it will start burning off the glue that sits underneath this glass uh, backing. And after that, you can simply scrape it off with a spatula, uh, replacing uh, this thing for a very low cost. Uh, obviously, it will spare out. Um, the camera uh, 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 segments so it will burn around this whole area and um, yeah it is quite a fascinating little thing and um, I checked on eBay they cost around two thousand bucks to get one of these machines but I think it will bring down uh, the costs uh, of replacing those back plates uh, permanently uh, pretty soon. Now um, as I am stupid enough to give this a try uh, <laughs> with a K40 laser um, <laughs> that's why you clicked on this video, right? Um, <laughs> I checked on eBay to find an uh, iPhone 8 because that was like the uh, first iPhone where they used the glass backing, but they are still too expensive for an experiment that will probably not work. So uh, I decided, um, or I was looking around and I found one of an, uh, well, a pretty old, I think it's an iPhone 2 or 3. Uh, with a broken uh, front plate and um, well the front plate might be some sort of the same material even they sell say that this is harder nowadays but principles will be quite the same I think uh, when it comes to lasers uh, <laughs> as I said in so many videos before sure a CO2 uh, laser or infrared laser won't penetrate through glass or plastics uh, I mean acrylics um, but still, I want to give it a try. So I need to create a mask um, in Coral Laser where I can uh, engrave uh, on this black spot in order to break the glass in the first place and maybe actually um, penetrate the glue uh, underneath um, because when the glass is shattered, maybe some laser light can go through and, and, and do something to the adhesive uh, or to the PC, uh, PCBs or whatever. Maybe the beam comes out on the back later. We will see. Um, yeah, uh, the way I'm doing this, to keep it a little bit uh, uh, educational, um, I need to get um, an exact print or footprint of this phone to in order to create my mask. And um, I did this before, um, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm just looking around, I can't find it now. A friend of mine, um, he, he, he he's an old school guy, so he made me a technical drawing for parts that need to be cut it out. And some of them were had pretty organic lines in it, so it was pretty hard to recreate it. And I don't have much much time. So what I did is I took, uh, simply I took a picture of his drawing, um, change the contrast to be real black and white, so uh, his drawing is black and the rest is white, and that was enough to make it a decent uh, cut on the laser. So uh, a very easy and simple and quick way of um, getting uh, your mask or your layouts uh, into the laser machine. The only, only thing you need, you need uh, something to uh, match the size in software. So um, I have this mat here, so you have those inch uh, um, squares, which is quite nice, so um, you just draw an inch square in Coral Draw, and you um, scale up the picture in a way um, this matches. Um, if you don't have something like this, I use sometimes I use a quarter. Quarter is around uh, 24 millimeters. So I put this next to it when I take the picture, and we need to take a picture straight from uh, on top of it. Um, oh, commercials. Let me see. So we want to take a picture. I have this LED LED ring. Um, I will put off the um, ring light for this purpose and I really try to be on top of the phone to get not the, too much distortion. Um, yeah, that's the thing, you don't want to be too close um, because as you can see you don't have straight lines. You want to be a little bit further away. We don't need a beauty shot, we just need something um, to where we can paint our mat onto it in Coral Laser. Okay, so um, that's that. I will um, do this mask and I will see you back in a second uh, when everything is finished. So there 
there's the mask, there's the phone, and now I will put it into my fancy laser cutter. By the way, I made some space here and uh, put up a new light. That's because I just ordered, not a new laser cutter, but a 3D printer, and uh, I'm very looking forward to this thing. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not looking forward to make too much um, 3D print videos, because I think YouTube is already flooded with them. Um, but uh, it will be a nice add-on to, um, to my laser cutter. Let's see, I will first give it a preview with the laser source off. I think it is straight. <laughs> okay, well, let's give this a try. Ten minutes later. Uh, yes, so this is the result. <laughs> uh, I needed to realign this uh, halfway through because uh, it missed the whole spot here. Um, but um, the end came out pretty uh, okay, I would say. Yeah, uh, well, it did something to the glass. It shattered um, something. Let's try if we can peel off this glass right now. Well, it feels like I can lift out the whole phone <laughs> from its casing because, uh, well, what what it did, really did do is it burned away this glue in the sides here. So you can really go in there right now and lift this out. Um, but it feels more like I can lift out the whole phone. <laughs> it definitely marked um, the outer layer of um, the glass cover and you can peel off some very fine dust here as well. But it did nothing to the actual adhesive underneath. Yeah, here you can see the adhesive underneath. So it did do anything <laughs> to the actual adhesive. But very interesting experiment. And um, it did a great job of removing this outer layer of glue on the sides. Uh, because now you can really easily fit in a tool. It was an experiment, um, knowing to fail, so... <laughs> yeah, I don't want to make it a big mess here, and uh, also it, there's glass everywhere right now. Okay, uh, let me zoom out. So, <laughs> can you remove uh, the back plate uh, of a uh, modern smartphone using a K40 laser? No, <laughs> don't do it. Just, Just go to somebody who owns the right equipment, um, yeah, but uh, at least we tried it and we now know <laughs> for sure that this definitely does not work. Um, okay, so I hope you enjoyed and uh, I see you in the next one. Until then, see ya.